Hi my darlings, I'm Sophie Darling and welcome to part 19 of Hollow Knight. We have done our first ending which we did in part 17. So part 18 was just kind of we were running around, we were looking back at areas we haven't been to. We did our first dream boss which was Failed Champion. We found Millabel, the little trader. We found her finally. So we found Millabel. We did the failed champion. We found the enraged crystal, crystal, crystal guardian, and now I think today's episode is going to be pretty much clearing up as much as we can of the markers that I have noted down, of areas I couldn't go to because I didn't have the right skill. We're going to go back through deep nest because I didn't see a lot of deep nest because I came in like a weird direction. So a lot of people have said that they usually go in by the mantis lords. I did not do that because I don't do things by halves apparently. So I came in through Queen's Garden. So I was up at the top and then I like dropped down into deep nest. So I was like right by the dreamer. I was right by Para. So yeah we're gonna go back in through the normal route and hopefully <laughs> hopefully see a little bit more explore maybe find a bit more lore and then i was gonna say if we have time i might go and do the flower flower quest but probably not because there's a lot of markers we still need to see a lot of markers that we still need to do and I need to go back to the abyss at some point but whether this will be in this episode or next episode i don't know we'll see we'll see how we get on i also need to go buy the charms from Legita because i am very close to having all the charms and i kind of want to kind of want to complete that so let's get into it let's get into the episode today Woo! and yeah we left off finding out that we need another I believe it's another pale ore. I think we have if I am correct I think we already have two yeah so we just need one more so I think that's my kind of aim for today is to find that additional pale ore. I also do want to see what the third trial of Colosseum of Fools is. I imagine it's not fun because the second one was hard. It was really difficult. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna... Let me, let me, let me just have a look. So there's a lot in the abyss that we need to go back and see. I've noted stuff here, so I need to go back to Deep Nest. There's this here in Mantis Village. I feel like that is just going to connect up to here, but it's still worth doing just to see if there's anything to collect there. And then there was this in Kingdom's Edge, and I can't remember why I noted it, but I did. And this. So maybe we'll head this direction and a lot of people pointed out to me which i do appreciate because as i've mentioned in previous videos i am deaf in one ear so sometimes i don't hear cues for like broken ground so i don't mind people pointing out broken ground if i've missed them but people have said that the one in dung defenders that's not dung defenders room sophie um, oh, actually, no, it is. I was in the right area. So the one in Dung Defender's room apparently doesn't have a sound cue. So I want to go back there at some point too. Still got a lot to do. And we also have the DLC for the Grim Troop, which I haven't started yet because... I'm not quite sure why I haven't started yet. I think because I did... my first ending and then there was still like a lot of areas before that first ending that I didn't do because I was worried because a few people have said that it's easy to kind of lock yourself out of that first ending if you overly explore so it was a bit like okay probably best to do that first ending ASAP and then then come back you know 
feel like that was the, the smartest option because there was a lot of stuff that I still wanted to explore. But obviously, if you're exploring and it's going to potentially lock you out, then it's not handy. Oh, I don't have... Uh, ooh, I don't have soul. Okay, so I'm going to have to... Go and kill some little beasties. Little beasties. Let me kill you, please. Oh, so the only one there is the freaking bat. There is other ones. Ah, here. Haha. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but... Ah! Oh, I forgot about these things. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Boop. Okay. Oh, I... Okay, I need to get... I still need to learn how to do that. Hold up. I panic? There we go. Okay, so I kind of... I panic a little bit and then I'm not quite sure what to do. And then, yeah, I need to kind of get used to that it resets um when you dash it resets your jump just, I'm just making sure i'm like front and center because my webcam keeps shifting i, I don't know what it is it's like maybe it's just from day-to-day -day use but i'm never fully happy with my webcam maybe i need to mount it because at the minute it's on top of my monster, but I might need to get like a mount. Just so I have a bit better control over it. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if it's just anywhere. No. Okay. Here. Somebody did say something about... A lever? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I have to... I can dream nail him. Oh. Oh yikes. Let's see how this goes. Probably gonna be an absolute mess. White defender. So was this in his oh, in his glory days? Oh god. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, that's tough. That's, that, that's quite tough. Um, I imagine the dream bosses have quite a big health pool in comparison to their normal variations. Is that the king in the background? That does look like the king in the background. I'm just being super aggressive. Ah! Okay. I wonder how you're supposed to avoid that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Okay, so I can I can dash through the things. I'm going to come back to this. And the reason I'm going to come back to it is because I don't have the right charms on. But I do want to go and get the char You know what? I think I'm going to make my priority this right now. Just while I have so much money on me, I think it's probably wise. Yeah, it's probably wise to head back for now. Just so I can get those charms because... Oh. Just so I don't lose anything. Just, just, just to be safe. Because I know I can use the eggs for like GG and things, but I still just don't really want to have to. If I could just, you know, <laughs> be, be smart about things. I still need to unlock that. Actually gonna rest here just in case. Alrighty, pal, let's go. Actually, where is... So he's here. I'm just trying to think where the closest route would be. Um, invite? Mm, no, I was going to say Queen Station, but Queen Station's an absolute... Actually... No, Queen Station might be fine. Yeah, no, let's go from Queen Station. I think I'm thinking Queen's Gardens, and that's why I'm getting confused. That's on me. Yeah, I'm thinking Queen's Gardens, and I was like, oh god, that's going to be an absolute nightmare to get through. But yeah, it's it's not it's not the same. Oh. It is not the same, guys. Also, I hope people have some fun plans for the weekend. And did anybody get anything in the Steam sale? I got quite a few games in the Steam sale. I've already played one of them, which was What Remains of Edith Finch. Such a good game. A very emotional, very deep and dark, but... I really enjoyed it. I love the visuals of that game and the storytelling. I just feel like it was so beautifully done. I'm also hoping to get Ori filmed. I still haven't... Oh. Still haven't gone there. Um, Let me see. Can I... Like, is... Is there a reason that... Um, okay. Like, is there a reason that I've never come round here? No, there doesn't seem to be. I think maybe it was just... When I did see it, I maybe... Forgot that it existed. And then as a result, just... Never came back this way. Imagine that's going to happen quite a bit. I'm going to go back to other areas and be like, why didn't I get that? And it, it will primarily be because I just didn't think. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mr. Mushroom. I'm trying to keep my eyes open for things. Yeah, up. 
But at least I don't die from acid now, which is super cool. We love that. Ah, can I dream now, these? Geo. <gasps> Geo! Hello, you. Just give them all to me, because I might as well. So I have a lot of things I can still sell. So it's not like the end of the world got nothing left to show you do you want something more you're so greedy wow rude are you curious you're wondering how i make my special gifts don't try to steal my secrets i'll steal them right back if you're cruel to me you'll be sorry no one's being cruel here only you you're eating people it's not very nice uh since we're here we might as well just go straight down to where that red thing is i know there's a warrior fight back that way but i'm a i'm a explore first you know when your eyes are just trying to like make sure you're going the right way Okay, uh, did that? No, it was a mushroom. Something made a noise and it was a mushroom. It's fine. I'm not gonna kill the babies this time because I do feel bad killing the little mushroom babies. They're just doing their best. They don't. Oh no. I love that I still I still get comments of like you miss everything but what you're supposed to actually hear and I'm like I'm literally wearing glasses like I never said that my eyesight was good okay <laughs> I feel like some of these things are still really hard to see but that's just me besties that's just me and again, I think it comes down to like when you play the game for the first time, there's going to be a lot that you don't see. Versus when you've already played it multiple times and you're watching somebody play it for the first time. I can understand, like I can completely understand why it gets frustrating for people because they're like, oh, how could you miss it? But it's like, I guarantee on your first playthrough, you also missed it, you know? <laughs> I highly doubt that you found absolutely every secret that there was to be found on your first playthrough. If you did, congrats, but you are like the minority rather than the majority. There's something. I can hear something. It's louder up there. Sorry, I'm just I'm trying to get the hang of being able to. Hitting all these buttons confuses me. There is something there. I feel, I think it's that, maybe I'm wrong, but there's like a little gap there. I 
feel like I'm going mad. <laughs> there is something. It's just really odd. Oh, why did I do that? That was silly. Genuinely never been here. Oh, there's a baby! Oh, baby! Please be baby, because I didn't check. Would be very awkward if not baby. How have I never been here is the, is the question. Spore shroom. Composed of living fungal matter, scatters spores when exposed to soul. When focusing soul, emit a spore cloud that slowly damages enemies. Voice. How have I never been here? <laughs> That's, uh. Huh. Interesting, I guess. Very, very interesting. Is there anything else that I've maybe missed? I guess not. Honestly, I'm very confused how I just missed this entire area. Like, completely. That sound's gonna really bug me. It's gonna annoy me because... I can hear it. I s Was I going the wrong way, maybe? Hello? Worms will bugs in their fall till ages pass and kingdoms fall. Caps and shells may fall to dust, but Mr. Mushroom readjusts. <laughs> can I can I speak to Mr. Mushroom? Hello? Gungi Gungi Mishi Umu Sango Poggi Yu Dongo? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to mark this on my, on my map. Miss, Mr. Mushroom. He can be... 
a glittering one. It was really annoying me because I could hear him. I just didn't expect him to be that easy to get to. Yes, okay, this way. Oh, I have a very itchy nose. It's just down, right? Uh, excuse you. This way. Oh, I couldn't go this way because I couldn't double jump. Fungal core. Okie doke. Interesting. Oh, hello. Big mushroom. Is so, that an entire new area that I just completely missed? Okay, that goes back down, I think. Oh no, it doesn't. This is this is the way. This is the way. This is crazy. This game is huge. That's what she said. Wow. Wow. Genuinely now just trying to make sure wow. that like wow. I haven't missed anything. Yeah, so went in there and then dropped down, so I guess we'll drop down again. Yeah, drop down. Bouncy bounce. Oh boy. Well, that's a nightmare. I got this because I am smart. I also just bashed into him as if that was completely normal. That's fine. I'm still smart. There had to be... Yeah, there was more to that. Hold up. I'm just gonna... Connect it here. Oh no, it's already connected because this is the way I came up, Sophie. You're being dumb. You're, you're being super dumb right now. So like, I'm just double checking the wall. All right, go just double check here. I'm just gonna double check the top just in case. Cause you never know, this game hides everything. Oh, like this. <laughs> I can't believe how much I've missed. This is, this is wild. Coming back when I'm quite like overpowered as well. So many mushrooms. Oh. Just just 
just baited that. Okay. You got you baited. You got you got you baited. Nope. Okay, I hit that like a fucking idiot. That was on me. Anything from the trolley? I don't know why that's been in my head like for ages. I don't even like Harry Potter. That just has been in my head and I'm not quite sure why. Uh, I feel like... You know, I came down that way. this way hit that wall okay I guess we go down again ah stop you're a menace oh I hear a baby oh my god is this going to be like baby clear up We find all the babas. wasn't a baby. Maybe I'm mishearing. It might have been the mushrooms and I'm like, oh, it's a baby, but I don't know. Pale worm, what good to foresee a demise unavoidable. Can I hit it? No. Just a bit of lore, I guess. So is it like a decaying mushroom is what's like infecting this place with spores? Or is it just a general infection? Oh, I fell. Got a mask. Yes. Am I in deep nest again? I fucking am. <laughs> I wasn't done. I wasn't done. There was still stuff I wanted to do up there, for God's sake. Well, I guess we're here now. Hi, buddies. Okay, so we are actually where I wanted to be, <laughs> which was I wanted to come in the Mantis Lord way, and I just, you know, didn't anticipate coming in this way. But hey ho, we did it. Okay, we didn't go up here, so worth losing. Oh wait, no, not that way, sorry. This way. But that just leads... That, okay, that just leads that way, that's fine. Just double checking. a scary place. Gimme. At least we got another mask which is quite handy. I just wanted to double check what that was. 
Now we know. Danger. Don't go that way. Can I dream nail this? Light danger. I can. Oh, they're so loud. Where do you go? All right, it's a bit disconcerting that it disappeared. Makes me feel like it's gonna pop up again. And I least expect it. Sorry, didn't mean to scream. Just didn't anticipate them both coming at me at the same time. Is there anything? Oh, yeah, there is. Okay, let's see. Okay. Ooh. I just, I just wanted to see if I could. Doesn't mean you should. Right? Just cause you can doesn't mean it's a good idea. Right. Uh, excuse you. Stop. I knew that was broken cause I saw it from below. No. Oh, does it jump? It freaking does. Rude. Go with what? Stop it. It's very rude and very inconsiderate. No. <laughs> I love how annoyed I am just being here. It's like, no. Don't. Only I can jump. I think it's really inconsiderate. It's a bit like, you know, when you play Elden Ring or Dark Souls and a boss heals and you're just like, no. <laughs> like, you're not allowed to heal. That's not fair. That, that kind of vibe. Doesn't mean that they can't heal. It's just, it's not fair. There's something over there. Um... Oh, is it just... Oh, it might just be the glow of the lantern. Okay. I think it's just that lantern. And I thought it was maybe something else. That's okay. No! Okay, maybe, maybe it is. We'll come back, but it could just very well be a lantern. I feel like we're playing a very dangerous game right now. Being here was so much like Geo. <laughs> um, we haven't been down, so let's go down. Oh, fuck off. You absolute menace to society. It's like a weird little labyrinth. Oh, so it was one of those that I must have seen. And that might have been where my confusion was. Oh, coming in. Absolutely not. Where are we going? Oh! I 
I have no clue where I am at this point. I'm just like, yes. This is all okay. This is all fine. I'm having a great time here. No! Having a great old time! Ooh! Okay. Maybe I missed something. That, um, that feels very... I don't know. Might just be me, but like, I feel like if you're making me follow this thing, there has to be something deeper to it. Maybe there really isn't anything deeper to it. It could very well, fuck, very well just be you. Something strange? Oh! Jesus! Okay, no, so we have to go that way. Why'd I do that as if to be like, as if I didn't see it earlier? Oh, it's a very big drop. Ooh! It's a hot spring. What a nice place to enter into in such a desolate freaking area. Oh, how nice. Okay, what was the other direction then? Because we have been this way. Ooh, a tram. I wonder where that tram goes. I'm just gonna go down temporarily. Where am I? Oh, hello. The corpse of a garped. Noise. What killed a garped though? Because <laughs> if I can't kill a garped, what the hell killed it? Am I like venturing into, oh god, I might be venturing into like, a, I'm playing a dangerous game, aren't I? Oh, you little bitch. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> That's difficult. Oh, okay. Okay, I, I only have like limited uses for the shield thing, right? Sharp shadow. Uh, do, do, do. Contains a forbidden spell that transforms shadows into deadly weapons. When using Shadow Dash, the bearer's body will sharpen and damage enemies. Noise. Okay. That's cool. I really like that. I still need to kind of get the hang of Shadow Dash. I found Shadow Dash so late in the game that it's um it's taken me a little bit to kind of get used to it. 
I've got used to the other spells like Descending Dark and all that and Howling Shriek. It's just, uh, it's just that one being a little bit of a menace for now, but that's okay. That's fine. This is what this game's all about. Learning. the living bejesus out of me. Why have I done this the hard way? <laughs> Why was I like, yeah, I'll just pogo across. I think you're supposed to, aren't you? Oh, frick me. Oh no! I need to wait for him to come back. I panicked. I'm doing 10 times worse, which is weird. Um, I'm gonna head back this way and try and... Oh, itchy nose. Like I said, I'm playing a very dangerous game trying to do this. It's timing. I always find that I do really well on like a first attempt of something and then the subsequent attempts are never great like that. What? Okay, no, it's just I'm gonna I'm gonna have to come back. I'm gonna have to get something and come back because Oh, you fuck. I'm an idiot. I'm going to die here because I'm being a fool. Oh my god, that was intense. I'm gonna sit down on this and then go back because I want to see what's on the other end of sort of that platforming aspect. Okay, go back. I've got stuff to do. I'm doing so bad. It's this way, right? Whoa. This is so stressful. Oh my god, why am I doing like 10 times worse? Sometimes I think you get very tilted and then that doesn't help things like Oh my god, like that I 
feel like it's very easily... Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? I was doing so okay on my first attempt of it and now I'm doing like 10 times worse. I should have dream nailed it. Why? This is just so risky to do. But I'm stubborn as fuck. Which really doesn't help things because I'm just, I'm just really stubborn. Oh my god! Possibly... Do I need to pogo on top? Oh my god, do I have to pogo on top? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> How is that an experience? At least I don't have to pogo all the way back, but oh my goodness. Sheesh. Oh, so the tram just goes to the bears and Basin. Am I missing anything? Ah, oh, frick. An itchy nose. Oh, it means I'm gonna have an argument with someone. Yeah, no, I've been this way. Okay, I've been this way. Okay, dokie. All right, let's go back this way then, I guess. I'm gonna sit on my nice little bench and pretend like none of that happened. And then I guess go back. We haven't been up. I don't know why I looked at the map when I knew you were there. This feels very silly of me. No! No, 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 Oh, I hate the weird scuttly things that they do. Because they're not actually dead dead. And then they start doing that weird, like... 
Yeah, you can hear them. I'm just trying to like pretend that they don't exist. I'm like, no, get me out. Get me out of here. It's uh it makes my skin crawl because you can hear like the noise, like the little scuttling legs, and I'm like, Bleh. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So, oh, go away. Is this where we... Did we rescue Zoot there? Oh my goodness. Please chill, okay? Chill! Thank you. No! Oh. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, it's just so, like... It just makes my skin crawl. up bit and I just I kind of want to see what the up bit is oh fuck off you little weird ice isopod I mean that's what they're called fuck off I'm trying to heal you're being a menace Was that him that made that noise or was it the ground? I think it was him. Oh, they can't, they can freaking climb. Literally go away. Oh my God. Why is there so many? This is huge. Oh, fuck. I feel like I swear a lot more <laughs> in deep nests than I do anywhere else because deep nest is just an entity in itself i don't hate deep nest it's just very disconcerting stop let me explore in peace Yeah. 
He's like, get down here, I want a feast. And I'm like, no, please leave me alone. Oh, you fuck, I'm trying to pogo you. Maybe it's like, don't pogo, like actually just, you know, oh! Wasn't worth it. St oh my god, they just keep respawning. They are actual menaces. That, that moved. <laughs> baby! Are you baby? Empty, no, fuck off. You can suffer. Nope. Home, you're the real baby. Offer. You are the correct one. The rest of you suffer. You can all stay here. None of you are the baby. I am not a fool. I cannot be cheap, cheaped, cheated with these cheap tricks. I don't know who you take me for. I am not an idiot. Only some of the time. Oh, I'm so glad I found that. That was kind of cool. Ah! Go away. So up again, I guess. Leave me alone! Sir! Madam! Somebody help. Help! I don't know why I did up. Why did, why did I do the up one? No, 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 no. Leave me alone. I'm just trying to explore. More geo. Voice. There's also some there. Thank you. I will be taking that. This looks like a boss room. <laughs> this, this, uh, this is giving me so ah! sussy vibes. Hello, it's just it was it was giving me sussy vibes. Especially because I don't think there's like and it leads into here. Cool, that's where we found the baby. Nice. Okay. I'm a glutton for punishment and I feel like I'm gonna go in and see because why not? Corpse of a mossy vagabond overcome with infection. Corpse of a mossy vagabond overcome with infection. Great. Blazing bright. Yeah, I'm gonna smack this. Oh no, is it is it not anything then? It is literally just. to show. Oh, I thought it would be like a boss room or something. No. Huh. Interesting. That's 
to be. Is there more to this room? Or maybe it's just additional lore info. Hmm, who knows? Who truly ever knows? Okay, back down into deepness because I still have more to see of this very grim, dark place. Oh, fuck off. I've been this way. That's the bit that leads up. Yeah, to here. Okay, so it's the... Oh, okay. I think I might just have got myself turned around a little bit. Yeah, I think I've just got myself turned around a tad. Which is completely normal for me. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're all following me. Oh my god. Are you- you're taking the piss now, come on. They just keep respawning. Whoops. Feel like I've been leaning into the camera again. I need to like, figure out a better angle because I feel like I lean in. And it's really annoying because I'm trying to like sit back, but it doesn't seem to be, I don't know, recognizable. Maybe, maybe I need like a boost to see. <laughs> I'm like five foot, I am quite short. So I think mean, there's only so much I can do. I think it's just an unfortunate aspect of my height. It couldn't be built. What well, couldn't be built? This nest rejects us. Ha. Huh. I wonder if they sought solitude. My king, I'm sorry. I wonder if they either sought solitude or they were trying to take over deep nest not necessarily take over but maybe expand into deep nest and then as a consequence what's occurred is it's disturbed the little creepy crawlies oh my god i forgot how annoying those were Okay, I'm gonna go down. So that goes back to the failed tramway. Just making sure. Just trying to make sure I haven't missed anything because I obviously came in like a weird route. So I just, I'm just being overly cautious.
No, oh my god, oh! It's, uh, it's honestly the noise that they make as they like, it's the shell cracking and, oh, it's just so grim. It's just, it's just grim. Oh, I was supposed to come back for him, I think. I kept forgetting. Oh, yes. Yes, I remember now. I did come across him and I was like, oh yeah, I'll come back. And then I just, I completely forgot. You know, as you do. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, let's give it a go. Is he invisible? Yeah. Well. Welp! Welp! Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. I feel like if I win, it's because I've just spammed magic. <laughs> I literally just kept spamming the magic. I have no clue what I was doing. <laughs> Believable, I'm defeated at last. This is what it feels like to be bested. Still though, I am strong, am I not? When you see our king, surely you'll tell him of my valor. Yes, he sent you here to test me, didn't he? I knew he had not forgotten brave Galleon. I'm ready to join you now brothers you and i let us leave this place together sag is it one seven hundred that i need i think it's one seven hundred so i'm not i'm not too far off okay and then there's a tree over this way so we'll head back that way um, I'm probably going to go to the bench because <laughs> I was suffering. I had no clue what was going on again. I won that purely because I was spamming magic. <laughs> Whoopsie! Failing upwards, guys. Failing upwards. I am a pro at that. <laughs> Failing upwards always because I am a icon. <laughs> I'm not. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh. Oh. You know what I've realized lately, which is, I I kind of always suspected, is I'm very much a marmite type of creator, and you're probably gonna be like, "What, well, Sophie? What the hell is a marmite creator?" I feel like I'm one of those creators that you. <laughs> I'm one of those content creators that you you either like them or you hate them. I, I don't think there's an in-between with me. I think people either find me really annoying and abrasive and blunt because I, I can be quite blunt. I don't mean to be. I just kind of don't mince my words and I'm a bit sort of very forward and open with when something kind of annoys me. Just, just how I was raised, really. I'm a, I'm a little... I'm quite stubborn. I'm a stubborn individual. But I'm also just very blunt. Like, if something annoys me, I'm not going to sugarcoat it and be like, oh, no, I'm perfectly fine. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm very much a... No, that pissed me off kind of person. So, yeah, I feel like certain personalities either vibe with me and understand that that's like kind of who I am as a person and, and there's others that are just like god she's such a bitch she's so mean <laughs> I don't mean to be mean it's just I I really should be quite 
mindful, I guess, of how I come across at times. But at the same time, like, I feel like it's one of those where I shouldn't have to sugarcoat if I'm upset by something or if I'm annoyed by something. I don't think anyone should have to be. I feel like if somebody is upset or annoyed, they should be able to voice it without criticism or being told that they're mean for doing so. I think there's a difference between voicing it such as, you know, I really didn't like that comment or I really didn't like the way you spoke to me versus, you know, just insulting people. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. I've, I've been having a think and I'm just a bit like, yes, I am a Marmite creator. Because <laughs> yeah, I just, I feel like you either like me as a creator or you just think I'm annoying. <laughs> Which is perfectly okay. If you don't like me, that, that's fine. I, I think I'm old enough and big enough to kind of not feel like I need to please everybody. I used to feel that way a lot in my teen years that I was very like oh god how can someone not like me I need to be you know overly overly nice whereas I don't know as I get older I'm just a bit like if somebody doesn't like me that's okay and it's just it's just how it be you know I, I don't think you can be friends with everybody and I don't think everybody is going to like you as a person. That's okay. That's fine. It is what it is. I don't know why it came to my head the other day. I think it's because um, I've had some really nice comments lately and one of the really nice comments was somebody saying that they appreciated how honest and real I am in sort of how I engage and interact with people. And I really did appreciate that because the aim of my content essentially is, it's like, what you see is what you get with me. I don't like hiding behind a persona. I don't like pretending to be something that I'm not because, you know, this is me. I'm passionate about gaming. I love gaming. I love playing games. And I want to share that with people. I want to meet like-minded people that also enjoy the same things as I do and get to experience the amazing world of gaming and all that it has to offer. I don't feel like I need to put on like a cutesy or like bro-ish behavior. I'm trying to think of like the right word, like hype behavior. I'm just... I'm just me. <laughs> like, I'm just me. I just, I don't, I guess, like, I would say I'm cozy chaos in a way. I, w I would say my streams are, not my streams, my videos. Why do I keep saying streams? I would say, like, I'm cozy ish. Cozy chaotic. Cozy chaos, I think, is potentially the right way to describe my content. I don't know. I don't know. Feel free to tell me in the comments. Unless it's mean, then don't tell me in the comments. Woo! There's gonna be someone in the comment being like, you're shit. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, mate. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm joke. I joke. I joke. Um, I need to. Oh! Probably could uh, use that one to get back up. Okay, I'm just gonna go the long way. But I really did appreciate that comment. It, it was just a really nice comment where they said that they just, you know, appreciated how honest I was with things and I didn't sugarcoat stuff. And I, I don't know, it just got me thinking like, you know, that's all I ever wanted is for people to feel as if they were watching a friend play a game. That's, that's how I've always wanted my content to be is it's like 
watching your friend play a game and you're just hanging out with them and chilling and just having a good time. I'm missing one. Where is it? Tucked yourself away. It's hidden. Where have you hidden yourself? Here. Okay, I'm missing more than one. Um, okay, so not there. Ah, here. Excuse you. I'm getting braver with those. This way? Oh my god, there's a lot. Ah! Oh! I fell. Oh, that was it. Noise. Okay. Got everything I needed. There we go. Dream nail the tree. Where is it? Let's see if I can find it again. So if you literally walked past it like five times, it, how, how? I swear to God, I have like no navigational skills. I don't have any navigational skills in like real life. I must preface that. <laughs> like I'm very bad at figuring out where I need to go. So it doesn't shock me that I'm like this in game either. Nest, alive, sleeping queen, beast. Nest alive. Okay. Was that? I imagine that was the tree then that I marked down. So that's the stag way. I'm trying to think where we haven't been. Hmm. Where have we not been? I think I'm at that point where I have seen a lot of deepness, but I don't know. I just, I feel like there's maybe more to it. And I feel like the reason I feel that way is because we haven't had a boss in deepness, like, at all. So I'm a bit sus of deepness. I feel like there's maybe more to it. Because, like, yes, we've had the dream warrior, but it's not, like, a boss boss. So I'm a bit like, am I potentially missing something that requires me? I don't know. Maybe I've missed something. I'm going to head back towards the beginning. I'm going to rest at the bench nearby. Ooh, scary, scary, scary. Go, 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 go! Ah! Ah! Just get me back to there. Get me, get me back. Oh, there were a lot of tunnels this way and I didn't really get anything other than like the soul shard and then the tram i'm just gonna double check i haven't missed anything i don't know something is off like have i missed a breakable wall anywhere You know how sometimes they're in, like... No, so we came down here. And I've come this way, right? Oh my god, okay. 
Oh my god, how am I supposed to... I can't, I can't. Oh my god. Maybe, maybe it's not designed to be... Oh my god, I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna die here. Oh. Maybe it's not designed to go up that way. Oh no, because we came this way. That's why. That makes so much more sense. Okay. I don't know then. Definitely no breakable wall there. What about here? That was here. Anything here? I still think it's really sus. So we found this little garped, but we don't know what killed the garped. down here. Is there anything down this way? No? Okay. No walls to... No floors to smash? I'm just, I feel like there's, oh my god, I feel like there's more to this area. And I've been up that way. I feel like I'm just walking around in circles. Like I said, definitely nothing in here. No cracked walls, no nothing. Nothing, okay. Nothing here. Nothing there. And then we came down that way. So yeah, I feel like I've exhausted this area. I keep coming back because I feel like there has to be more than what I found, but I genuinely... How are you supposed to avoid these things? Like that, Sophie. It's probably a good way to learn. Oh, 
shadow dash, right? I'm just gonna dream nail them so I can get a little bit more health. Sorry. Just couldn't make my way through that. Oh, I've done the same thing. I just, there's a floor there. I just want to double check it's not something I can jump down. It's just like a lone floor here. No, nothing. Okay, so that doesn't do anything. Any ceilings? Like, nothing. It's so weird. Maybe it was just that then. I just, I don't know. I just feel like... I just feel like this is such an odd thing to have lying here with like no context around but hey I'm wondering if maybe I've missed like a tunnel? Anything over here? No? Okay. And I think we're just back to this really stressful area. Just doubling back because I don't know, it, it just, I feel like I'm missing something. leads back towards the tram. I have to keep taking breaks because I keep getting phone calls. It's like everybody wants to talk to me today and I'm just like trying to record. So yeah, every like uh, there's gonna be so many cuts in this video, and if you ask why there's so many cuts in this video, yeah, I'm just being distracted left, right, and bloody center today. So one day I actually get to sit down and record. 
and I just keep getting interrupted and I'm like no just just let me let me do what needs to be done probably gonna record a little bit longer on this one because I'm just I'm very sort of cautious oh are you serious why is everything so fucking hidden? I hear a baby. Papa? Hello? What? There's me. Where have I gone? Hello, me. Bit weird, but okay. My god, there's so much. It's me again. What am I doing here? Like, should I be following this? Yeah, like I'm playing a dangerous game here. I do hear a baby though. Baby! Haha! <laughs> Knew it! Heard the baby. Everything else gets neglected because baby. How? How? I don't know if I just dream nailed the same one. Dearest. Come back. What? Come back. What? Just... Oh, cool. Great. Thank you. Oh, great. Thanks. Just just block my way. All right. Just, just force me in here. Hello, me? Not me. Not me. God. Oh, it's a menace. Oh, I, I don't, I don't like the, oh, I don't. Oh no. Oh, I don't like this! Oh. I don't like the the spammy stuff that he does. Okay, so... I'm like, do I take the compass off? Because I don't know if I'll be able to find it again. I do want to try... Not necessarily... Do, do I want to try Sharp Shadow? Um, right, let me take these off for now. I'm going to put. Don't know if I want quick focus or if I want. You 
know what? Let's try quick sash. Just just for now. And then we can we can alternate. Just alternate between. Okay, so. God, now I have to try to figure out how to get back. Oh, fuck off. But it would help if I didn't die, you know. How did I get there in the first place? I genuinely... Did I... Oh, I jumped. I'm a menace to society right now. How did I... Right, why did I make that ten times more difficult for myself than it needed to be? Sounds about right for me. I think it's just like down these tunnels, isn't it? Yeah, like I, I don't think it's overly hard. It's actually quite a nice run back. <gasps> oh my god! Fuck off. I'm just fucking smacking him. He's stressing me out. Okay. Um, not necessarily that one. Okay, let's try. I don't know why I'm yawning. It's not like I've had, I had loads of sleep, Sophie. Right, what do I want to try? Um, yeah, which one I haven't tried. Quick focus. Let's try quick focus. See how that one goes. Okay, don't try and jump from the one. <laughs> That's furthest away thinking you're gonna make it, Sophie, because that's just dumb. I really need to go back to the grub father at some point because I've not been back in a long while and I have saved so many babies. Oh my god. He's a fucking menace. What am I supposed to fucking do? Oh, oh well, that was my fault, that was. I hate the running. I hate the running that he does. I don't, I don't like it. It's uh, horrendous. Why do I keep missing the pool? I don't like the scuttling. Ugh. It makes my body crawl. Said, at least the run back isn't that bad like it could be like 10 times worse of a run back but it's actually pretty decent am i like i'm like shifting sideways i'm shifting weirdly <laughs> 
I just don't want to waste. Oh my god. Ready? I'm like... Not like a hundred percent sure what I should be doing. Ready? Can I just stay in the corner? I'm just staying in the corner. I feel safe in the corner. I feel safe here. I'm just, I'm not leaving, okay? I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving! I'm staying here. I'm not leaving. I'm not going. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna stay here. Leave me alone. I hate it. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just staying here. Leave me alone. Okay. I'm not moving! Just, just fuck off! If I can get like enough... I'm, I'm staying! I'm not going! I just, I just, I don't like you. You're freaking me out. I don't, I don't like this, like, at all. Oh, I did it! I'm safe in the corner. Oh. <gasps> yes! Oh, fuck yeah. I can upgrade. I can upgrade. I think it's my final upgrade. Has he just got loads of little copies of me? Or have loads of little bugs that look like me come here and died? Oh my goodness. That was intense. I'm such a coward. I just kind of stood in that corner. I was like, I'm not, I'm not moving. <laughs> I was like, I'm safe in the corner. Leave me in the corner. Just, just stay away. <laughs> hey, it worked, right? <laughs> Whatever works. Oh man. Okay. I knew there was more to deepness. I knew it. Because the beast wasn't really a boss and every area has had like a boss even with like a dreamer in it. And Hera didn't, I think Hera's the only one that isn't like gate kept by a boss. The other two are, so it was a bit like, mm, I was like, there, there's more to this than meets the eye. Yeah, it's hidden, really well hidden. Like if I hadn't have seen the cracked wall above me I never would have found this fuck fuck oh my god I'm gonna die I'm gonna die just trying to get back to the freaking hot springs my goodness I'm 
going back to the tram. I don't know why I'm going to the tram. Uh, why? Why am I going? Oh, no! I don't know why I'm going for the tram. It might actually not be the best idea to go for the tram. Mm, actually, no. It... Oh, you fuck. It may... It may be the... I, it may... It may... Actually work out easier than trying to get to a stagway. I need to go to the abyss at some point. You know what? Oh, you know what would help, Sophie, is if you put your compass back on. <laughs> you know, that that would help. Maybe. Maybe maybe put your compass back on and like not be a silly billy. And for the time being, have I not had sprint master on this whole time? Oops. Oopsie, I haven't. I was wondering why I was going so slow. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. Yeah, this this might actually work because I want to go back to the abyss. So if I'm having to go up here to upgrade my nail, excuse you, manners. If I have to go back up here anyway, right? Like, it just makes more sense that I... It's... Oh, my God. Have I just got progressively worse? It, it would just make more sense to be here. I'm laughing because I was just gracefully sliding down. Just, you know. <laughs> just like, this is fine. <laughs> just just going to slide down and pretend that nothing happened. Okay. So, I think I'm going to not do that. That, that would be ideal. Oh. This is always nerve-wracking. Yeah, so I think I'm going to upgrade, which I wasn't able to do last time. I think it's 8,000. So... Lem is back this way. Yeah, so I think I have in mind what I'm going to do. Which is, I'm going to upgrade, but I might need to sell something to Lem in order to do so. I don't know, we might be alright. No, I think we do need to sell to Lem. Excuse you! And there's fighting's words. Yeah, it's probably just quicker to sell. Plus, it's not like I don't have a crap ton on me, so it should be fine. Bellamy Arthur. Um, I'll sell one of these because I only need one for now. Son, Gian. The common finds about the kingdom. I much enjoyed the deciphering of their texts. Read together, they paint a morbid tale. It seems fate was unkind to most who travel within Hollow Ness's ruin. Icky dooky, I don't need to sell anything more to him. I know everyone's a bit like, Sophie, you can sell things. I know, I know. <laughs> but the reason I don't sell things is for moments like these, where if I need an upgrade of something, 
then I have them on hand. Like if I need quick geo, I have them on hand, but for the most part, I've been quite good at retaining most of my geo and I haven't really needed to rely on selling things to make money. Especially because I've been finding the grubs. And then because I've been finding the grubs, I've been getting a lot of geo from grub father. Do you want to go back and see grub father at some point? I keep saying that and then never going back. Uh, so you have some pale ore, a rare fine metal that give me the one, give me the ore and some geo for my efforts and I'll reforge your nail to make it stronger. Yes. Oh, it's only 4,000. Jeez, I've way overshot. Jesus Christ. Do you wish I'll get to work then? So I've like 4,000 geo left. Whoops. It's done. The reforging is done. Your nail's much stronger than it used to be, as strong as it could ever be. In only your weapon have I seen such potential. Finally, I behold the majesty of a pure nail. To think this moment has come upon me so soon. I must step outside a moment. Is he okay? Nope. Are you are you good? Ah, Ranjo Stenja. With a pure nail forged, my work in this lifetime comes to an end. My only remaining desire is to see and feel the nail strike trick. No. Mm -mm. Beg you, cut me down. As my final moment in life, I want to taste the blades exquisite. No, it's, it's not happening. To all this time, all this toil, haven't I earned it? No, no, you have not. No, I'm not. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Can I dream nail him and it's fine? Or no, nope, I can't even dream nail him. No, nope, not doing it. It's not happening. It's not happening, sir. You're literally asking me to kill you. I I don't I don't feel comfortable in murder. I mean, <laughs> I've done a lot of murder in this game, but I don't feel comfortable in murdering somebody that's helped me so much in this game for like no reason. No, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for the nail upgrade, <laughs> but we're not gonna kill you. It's it's not it's not happening. It's it's just it, no. Mm -mm. No. No. No, no. No, no, no. No. I get, I get, like, it's his final wish and all, but, 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 but no. The ultimate weapon of Haliness, crafted to perfection, this ancient nail reveals its true form. Noise. So how are we doing on the journal? Uh, 137 out of 150 encountered and 117 out of 150. A filthy creature that is happy to chew on any old thing it finds discarded on the cabin floor. When it notices a threat, it will annoyingly scream and shriek, so kill it swiftly. The stuff that I didn't get to read, um, so I'm just going to quickly go through and see. The only seem dimly aware of their surroundings, making them easy prey to cut their fangs on. Cut your fangs on, sorry. What is it that guides them on their paths? It almost seems like they search for ways to die. Good hunters do not always make good parents. Shamelessly uses its own young as a weapon against its foes. Appalling, yes. I do admire its resourcefulness. These brutes seem to be impervious to most damage, so you can sharpen your weapons on a thick hide or just slash away at them for your own amusement. They barely seem to notice. I enjoy snapping them up. Jesus Christ. I've read some of these, so I'm just quickly going through. Softened by generations of luxury, these bugs lack claws or armor or venom. Those who wish to protect themselves are forced to fashion weapons from stone or or shell. Like us! So I still need to defeat three more husk guards, uh, five more entombed, entombed husks.
make you feel stronger. I wonder how my own innards taste. Would it be a heinous thing to try and drink some? Yes. We've had these. We've had these. Read these. Need to kill three more of these. Read that. Mask fly? Oh, the bats, right? Yeah, I haven't I haven't dealt with them. Nine more. Moss Knight is fine. Lentless in combat, fiercely guarding something deep in the green path. They hide as bush like mounds and look soft, but beware these warriors. Slow, fat, and easily vanquished. Oh my god, it's me! <laughs> Common threads in those who forget their calling and forsake their duties. Okay, so how do I defeat Duranda? Like, I, I'm not sure. Like, can are they? Can you defeat them? Charge Lumify. They usually drift about peacefully, but sometimes they cluster together, spit out a sharp crackling flash that will stun and burn even large beasts like myself. Watch closely for an opening and move past them quickly. Ghastly, eerie creature made out of thick liquid. You can peer right through them and can't see where they keep their thoughts. I don't trust them at all. Keep away. Canyon below us, the one thick with fog and crackling with strange energy. A hunter can lose their senses down there. Be careful, strange and unnatural things lurk there. It's an intelligent being that guards the inner chamber of the teacher's archives. Simple-minded crawling fungus, its cap is covered in a layer of hardened spikes. Lie on your belly, open your maw and let this tasty morsel stroll straight into your stomach. Um... Just a child, it drifts about with closed eyes and an open mind. When I was young, my brothers and sisters and I would hunt each other in the nest. Now I hunt alone. Is it because you killed your brothers and sisters? <laughs> uh, I haven't defeated the Sporgs. Fungified husk, I still need to do those. Something queer in the in the air has caused these mushrooms to grow hearts, minds, and even faces. This means they now fear for their lives like all other living creatures. Oh. Are these hulking things beasts or are they mushrooms? I cut one in half and peered inside to find out, but could find no answers in its soft, stinking insides. Uh, can I? I don't think I can do the Mantis Warrior, can I? Because they're all peaceful now, so I don't really want to kill them. More skilled at combat. I've read these ones. Surprisingly quick witted for a corpse. It will try to catch you if you leap over it and can chase you if you flee. Enjoyable to hunt, but beware them in packs. Dances through the air just out of reach until it spots an opening, then swoops in for a decisive strike. If you're confident, wait for it to come to you, then counterattack. The stevious foe will often keep its distance and try to pick you off with its thrown weapons. When it charges at you, leap up and strike it down. I've read these. I haven't defeated enough soul twisters soul warrior i think i read this one yeah i've read this one soul mass so red 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 i've read this an angry creature with no regard for its own life okay no so it wasn't the bats then that i'm missing okay i need to figure out what it was i was missing creature without fear can it truly be called prey adaptability is an important survival skill if a problem seems insurmountable try approaching it from a different angle that's very good advice extremely amusing creature um i've read this dung defender i've read fluke fey i think i have I read this one? Seems to want to latch onto any living thing that comes by with its sharp little teeth. We'll leave its cousins alone though, so it isn't completely mindless. Oh no, I hate them, so I have to go kill more of these. Desired, I've read this one? I think I've read the Fluke Mum one. Don't find this creature particularly noticeable or interesting. It should learn to fly or breathe flames or sing hauntingly. Anything to justify its existence. Large and well protected but slow and docile. The bugs of Hellenes used to force these creatures to carry around their carts and machines. 
Make their homes all the way up at the top of the world. Do they use the crystals willingly as weapons or are they merely hosts and the crystals parasites? The bugs of Hallow Nest lusted after the strangest things in life. They would dig furtively through the dirt for stone or, and in particular, the crystals that grow at the top of the world. I need to go back and kill some of these then. How does the world look to this creature gazing out from within its crystal prison? Does it see only light? Is that what drives it into a frenzy? It's a heavy set miner of the crystal peak overcome by crystal growth. Can discharge blazing beams of light from its crystallized limbs. Vengefly, whose body has been distorted by continued infection, highly aggressive. The infection that passes from creature to creature grants straight strength and courage, but it also seems to enslave the will. Would you make such a bargain? No. Bruises swollen with infection and primed to burst. Horrible goo and noxious gas has started leaking down from above. Is there a source of all this pestilence? If so, I haven't seen it. Maddened by massive infection, charges at enemies with no thought for its own preservation. The bugs of Hellenes were twisted out of shape by that ancient sickness. First they fell into deep slumber, then they awoke with broken minds, and then their bodies started to deform. Slobbering husk, the body of a bug completely consumed by infection, spits corrosive liquid. The infection that swept through Hellenes so long ago, they say that the harder you struggled against it, the more it concerned you. Dirt carver, you little buggers. I hate these things. Swarming predator of the deep nest burrows through the ground and bursts out to surprise prey. Springy and vicious, these hunters will try to overwhelm you with numbers in the dark, tight, twisting caverns they carve through the ground. Always be on your guard. Okay, I have to defeat more of these. Oh, Garpied. Okay, so I do have the document for these. That's fine. Giant burrower covered in thick shell plates tirelessly travels the tunnels of the deep nest. Monstrously strong, they shrug off any attacks you make on their thickly armoured bodies. Luckily, if you simply avoid their paths, they'll leave you alone. Parasitic beast that controls the body of its host after the host's death. The beasts of this land have found plenty of ingenious hiding places, but none so clever as the body of another creature. If you happen on such a beast, rejoice. You've hunted two creatures at once. It's a good way to look at it. Thank you. Infant of the Deepness scuttles about in the darkness, learning the layout of its home. The Deepness is a dangerous place to hunt, but rewarding. Keep an eye out for weaker creatures you can pick off and eat. Keep your strength up in the darkness. Crawls along walls and roofs, spitting burning venom at anything that passes by. They can be hard to spot as they flitter in and out of the darkness. Watch for their glowing eyes. Nimble spiders that traverses its domain on thin strands of web often waits in ambush. They can appear from the darkness at any moment. They seem to fly through the air, dancing on invisible strings as they silently stalk prey. Worshippers of Hera the Beast shield themselves with hard-plated foreclaws, then lash out suddenly to cut down prey. Powerful, well-armoured and fast, these are no mere beasts. Study their movements and watch carefully for an opening. Nosk. Mimics the shape of other creatures to lie prey to its lair. In the deepest darkness, there are beasts who wear faces stolen from your memories and pluck at the strings in your heart. Know yourself and stay strong. Oh, that's creepy. How did this foolish creature lose its legs? I suppose it's possible to lose anything if you really try. That's so brutal. <laughs> it's like, well, get wrecked. Okay, so I need to defeat more light seeds. The infection creep through the kingdom's dead veins. Does it truly, does it have a mind? Does it produce soul? Is it truly alive? Shattered corpse reanimated by infected parasites. The shape of this creature, I've seen something like it before, more than once perhaps. It looks a little like the bugs of Hallowness, but not quite the same. Where did these empty little wanderers come from? Oh, I have to kill more boo flies. Wilder ancestral form of the Aspid once fought extinct and they have reappeared at the edges of the world. These cruel foes will ambush you and relentlessly attack with their searing venom. How strange that their descendants are so weak. If I have children, I hope they'll be stronger than me. Leaps at prey and uses its sharp proboscis to drain vital fluids. This hopping thief's belly is full of the blood it has stolen from other beasts. If you hold it above a fire, the belly will grow and grow until it explodes in a steaming shower of fluid. Oh, great, thank you. So gross. 
It leaps around the edge of the well, trying to crush prey beneath its body. A worthy foe, surprisingly nimble for its size. Either keep your distance or try to dance between its hops and strike at its legs. Seems the shape of a harmless creature to lure prey, alluring an enemy close by pretending to be a weak little grub. Very cunning. Fortunately for them, I eat these grubs as soon as I see them. Oh no! Um, I've read these ones. Savage and dedicated warriors, be prepared to fight them to the death if you plan on invading their home. Like their smaller kin, their only instinct is to protect the hive at any cost themselves. Somewhat clumsy, they'll often damage the structure of the hive when charging at intruders. Does this cause some shame? I do not know whether they have the capacity for such things. Did the hivelings build their nest around the sorry bug, or did the bug squeeze its body into their nest? Either way, they seem happy enough together. Of the hive queens flightless but ferocious in battle some creatures are born with duties and loyalties marked indel indelibly upon their minds they are strong but they are also slaves the spines they find seem to be mildly poisonous don't use them to clean between your fangs after eating inhabits the wilds beside the queen's gardens not aggressive in nature but its wild bouncing behavior can be dangerous it seems like their energy is limitless so they ever stop to sleep or eat or love Lurks amongst foliage and attacks by flinging wind scythes from a distance. They will harass you from afar, so get close and strike quickly. Their bodies are brittle and will easily fall to your nail. Once a member of the Mantis tribe, now cast out and driven mad by infection. Belonging to a tribe or not belonging, I don't really understand what the difference is or how it works. I have no tribe of my own. Deposed Lord of the Mantis tribe, embraced the infection and turned against his sisters. I felt that desire- oh, I've read this one. I felt that desire, the desire to take the infection into myself, to become stronger and more powerful. These thoughts haunt my dreams during the darkest times, a false hope, but it can burn so brilliantly in one's mind. Hardened Boulder, bred for battle in the Colosseum of Fools, tougher and more aggressive than its wild ancestor. These creatures, I have never seen one fully grown. Suppose they aren't allowed to live long enough to become adults. Hardened Squit, bred for battle, tougher and more aggressive than its wild ancestor. Strong and quick when they rear back, either move out of the way or prepare to strike back. A battle, Ubal! I need to defeat two more! Raised in the Colosseum, although trained for combat, its movement and attacks are still haphazard. Oh, Blue Bull, larger cousin of the Obel, pairs with a mate for life and will never leave its side. Does that mean when we're killing them in the Colosseum? There's usually like pairs. Does that mean we're killing mated pairs? Oh, that's so mean. Warrior fighting for glory in the Colosseum of Fools, warily approaches opponents with shell held high. Okay. I have to defeat more of these. Warrior fighting for glory in the Colosseum, uses crescent shaped blades to cut down foes. Warrior fighting for glory in the Colosseum, flies just out of an opponent's reach and darts in for the kill. What do they hope for, these warriors fighting in the Colosseum? Are they slaves or prisoners or do they freely choose to fight? Warrior fighting for glory in the Colosseum aggressively charges down foes. Large, bulky and fighting for its life, don't underestimate this fighter. It can sliver around quickly despite its bulk. Also has a surprisingly beautiful face beneath its masks. I've already read all of these. I think I've read Gorb, I've read Mamu, I haven't read Ga uh, Galleon, Gillian, Galleon. Lingering dream of a fallen warrior, trained in the wilds, bordering the kingdom, hoping to become a knight. A knight strives not only to protect the land and its people, but the hopes and dreams of the kingdom. Okay. So we, we're up to date with the journal now. I have read everything that it's possible to read. I do need to make a note of the ones that I need to go back and kill because I want to complete this journal. I really like the hunter's journal. It gives you so much more sort of contextual information and the hunter is just sassy. All the stuff he comes out with is just so, sna so, so sassy and I love it. But I think that is enough for episode 19. Thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. And until next time. Bye!